Hey everybody, it's Taylor here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to download your 3D print files from the Google Sheet that we submitted them to for transfer onto the 3D printing computer. So what you will do is you'll go to our 3D print computer and open a Google Chrome window, and in the bookmark bar across the top you're going to see 3D printing request. Now, some of these other bookmarks will not be there because I'm working on my personal computer right now. So when I click on that, it's going to bring me into this sheet. And you can see that there are files going all the way back to February of 2020 in this example. We do periodically purge this sheet, but it's important that you make sure you find your file. So I'm going to scroll down and here at the very bottom, on today's date is <clears throat> my file and I know that it's mine because it's got my name my class title information I can see that it's a 3mf and then over here on the right in column F there's a link to a file and I'm gonna click on that link and it's gonna bring me to this next tab and it's gonna tell me that it can't display my files, but what I can do is click the download button in the top right corner, and that is going to download my file. And you can see it showed up in my download bar right here. So now if I jump over to my downloads folder, here is Taylor period one dash Kyle Taylor. That's the file that I just downloaded. It's the same as the one that I originally uploaded, but it's titled a little bit differently. This is the file that I'm going to now take and load into Cura for 3D printing. So I can open up a Cura window. On the 3D printing computer, you will need to find the correct instance of Cura for the printer that you are going to use, and that will be indicated right up here. I will make another video that will show you how to do that. Once you've selected your correct printer, I'm going to click Open, and I'm going to select that 3MF file that I just downloaded, and I'm going to open it. Now, because I have something already on my print bed, it's going to combine those. And so what I can do is I can delete, go through and delete the existing models so that I have room for my new models. And then I can reposition this onto the print bed. Now all three of my items are on the print bed. It's slicing and we're going to see again, this is the file that I transferred over. It's got the correct time limit, the correct amount of filament, and it remembers all of my settings. Again, that's the benefit to using a 3MF file to transfer over to the 3D print computer instead of an STL file. So now this is all loaded, and once I'm connected to the correct printer, I'm ready to start my print. 